This YouTube video was presented by Screamscape, your ultimate guide to theme parks. Well guys, what's I happen without a few rides? And by far the coolest ride on the showroom floor belongs to Mike, the director of new market development here at KUKA. Tell us a little bit about what's, uh, what's behind us here on the, the new KUKA arm. Yeah, this is our next generation of uh, our uh, two passenger ride system uh, that uh, we built in our facility in Germany. Uh, our initial first generation came out in early 2000, and we've since redeveloped this. We've simplified it, brought some cost out of it. So we're relaunching it here at IAPA this year, thinking we can get some new interest in FEC parks and small entertainment centers. Very, very cool. Now, what are the main benefits to this model over the old model? Uh, for the, the biggest difference is, one, we have a brand new robot with a little higher capacity and more performance. And number two, which is the biggest one, we've eliminated a loading platform that we had previously. Oh yeah, that's right. Because yeah, I'm familiar, we, there's, there, I'm an Orlando guy, so we, we have them at Epcot over there, but yes. you have to load up tall and then it sort of moves. And this, if you look right there, it's just, you load right on the floor. That's just, it makes it much simpler, much easier for exactly. the to get And, and we, we've seen the, these arms in all sorts of crazy and, and wild rides. What's your favorite type of environment that you put the KUKA arms in? Uh, in the entertainment sector, we, the rides are always the most dynamic. Yeah. So anywhere we can put them in a, in a small theme park or an FEC, uh, people just go crazy. They love seeing the robots. Everybody's had, everyone has interest in robots these oh, days. Yeah. So it really is a good attraction. And what a lot, some people don't know, our, our fans out there, they're all theme park fans, but you guys do a lot of non-theme park stuff as well. I saw the, uh, the, the, the model over there with the, the little chip it away kind of thing. Yes, we do. Our, the majority of our business is still industrial applications and pretty much half of our business is still automotive. So the, that's where robotics grew up with the automotive yeah. industry. And we branched into new areas like food production, welding, uh, you know, enter, entertainment, obviously. Uh, and we do some other areas of entertainment with the, the milling applications, uh, which is also in our booth this year. So yeah, it's a whole realm of different applications and processes. And of course, the ride behind us, we see it spinning all around. There's different, I imagine there's different levels of intensity. You could go for like something for little kids or something that would make me very, very ill yes. as well. Yes, yeah, so we have five different levels of rides. Okay. Uh, there is a height restriction uh, for you know which size of child can go on the ride based on height and weight. Uh, but we have a gentle ride that uh, doesn't have all the extreme motions like spinning and over the top and inversions. And so it's, it's really applicable to them. But then for the older kids, the teens, they always want the high level ride. Absolutely. So um, I want to thank you, Mike, but I, enough talking. I need to go hop on this thing. Yeah, sure. I think we're going to you know, turn it up to five, go on that extreme level and uh, go check this thing out. So Mike, it's time for okay. me to go on a ride. All right. We'll get you on it. Have a good time. All right. Now, all right. Hopping on in. Woo! All right, this restraint is coming down. All right. All right, I'm ready. Okay. Which one? Which one? Crank it up. No, five, five. absolutely five, Crank extreme. By the way, extreme reads, passenger frequently upside down, rapid deceleration against the forces of gravity, frequent rotation and changes of direction. Uh, an awesome time and uh, it, no it's not every part of that sounds like a terrible idea yeah, I just ate too, so, oh uh, gosh up uh, it starts nice and calm though yeah, this is a I mean, it doesn't seem that bad. no I, I feel like they must have put us on like zero or like toddler setting at this point I know it's like hi people hi. Oh, no! and there it goes <laughs> oh, and I'm upside down oh my gosh Ever want to know what it feels like to be a ragdoll? Oh my god. This is it. You know, the lights are really bright up here. Oh, oh. <laughs> a lovely upside down view of the showroom floor. <laughs> ah. I can feel the blood. <laughs> oh man. This is, um. Oh, I am upside down quite a bit. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I'm right side up at all. I don't think so. I think this oh is my. Like upside down. Oh. <laughs> What are we Man. doing? Where are we going? Uh, All I know uh, is my tire. Oh. Uh, this was a bad idea. After this, I'm going to visit Bench the Booth. <laughs> uh, Who makes good benches? Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. This, thank god, this would have killed Drew. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. This is a lot worse nope. than the air race. This just keeps going. Oh. <laughs> uh, why is the post office here? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't why you're looking at that upside down? Oh ah! my! <laughs> oh, 
Uh, uh, every time I think it's over, it's not over. It just keeps going. Up. Oh, are we done? I think we're done. I think we're done. I really hope we're done. That was that was pretty wild. Uh, all the blood is rushing my face. Oh, oh my. It, it, I think I am. <laughs> it, it, it's like, I feel like I'm a sock in a washing machine, kind of. That was total ragdoll. Oh my goodness. Well guys, that was pretty extreme. I, I'm sweating from the face. I, I almost got my balance back, but I gotta tell you, really, really wild ride. Um, definitely something that, that works very well as a flat ride too, for you know even something like a smaller FEC or something like that. They work really, really well. So uh, if you get the chance to go on one of these in any kind of scenario, check it out, because it is wild.